All right, Coach, 72-47 win over Canisius today. We'll just uh, get started with an opening statement on uh, today's win. I'm really excited um, how our team came out from the defensive side of the ball. Once we settled in the first couple of minutes of the game, uh, I thought we executed our game plan. Uh, Canisius has – it's it's a tough offense to guard. It's a five-out motion. They're constantly moving. As soon as you relax, they can get a wide-open three or slip to the rim for a layup. Uh, I thought overall, you know, from first quarter to fourth quarter, we guarded their stuff pretty well. Uh, and I think once we started getting stops – we got the confidence to kind of get out in transition and push tempo a little bit more and settled in. Questions for Coach? Yeah. Coach, sometimes you like to start big uh, with big lineups, and sometimes you mix it up with small lineups. How uh, do you strategize using your um, the size that you have on the team with McDonough, Kleesner, um, and more? Um, and how do you think it helps your team? Yeah, I, I think this year we're, we're riding our seniors a little bit um, with Meg Galloway inside and Molly McDonough. And, and the great thing is, even though those two are starting, we got Kendall coming off the bench. Um, you know, we have Savannah who can bring some offensive uh, side to the ball a little bit more. So it's great that you have options. So if somebody's not playing well or a little bit off, you have more people ready to come in and contribute. And I think the depth of our team is, is going to be important down the road. Yeah, I know you stressed the defense, Coach, and that was outstanding today. I, th I thought it really picked up your offensive end, though, I th as well. Yeah, we, we had the luxury of having a whole week to prepare. So we got a couple days to kind of work on ourselves from our West Coast trip. Uh, and all we talked about, honestly, we, we talked about pushing tempo on the offensive end, but the majority of the talk was defensively. You know, guarding the three-point line, communication was was kind of the key of the week. Of it, There's going to be some mistakes made, but can you talk yourself through it? Can you switch on some things? Can you um, rotate? well against all that movement and, and one thing about that too when you guard that stuff it's exhausting it seems like they want to use the shot clock and then they had a couple possessions where then they get an offensive rebound and you got to guard it again uh, so I was proud of just kind of you know them kind of grinding it out in a lot of ways and early on in the game and then I thought we wore them out a little bit and got out in transition and moved I guess one of the only negatives from today's win would be uh, the 17 turnovers from today <laughs> so how do you yeah. when coaching how do you manage Encouraging your team to shoot, you guys shot 55% from both beyond the arc and the field today. How do you manage encouraging fast tempo offense while also uh, trying to get them to cut down on, on turnovers? Right. That's been a key for us all year of can we take care of the basketball. And I thought um, we tried to thread the needle a few times with some turnovers. We had a couple travels. I always tell them if we want to play fast, there's going to be good turnovers and bad turnovers. And sometimes you are going to make a few more risky passes. But then in the flow of a game, can you understand, OK, we've had a couple of them. Can we kind of slow it down and execute? Um, and, and yeah, like you said, you know, 17 is, is a few too many um, on the day. But like I said, it's, it's a good thing that you got something to talk about with them uh, tomorrow practice. Any other questions? All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you.